In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to superscript. So there's a quick button and then you can make some edits. Let's take a look at that. So we've got A2 out here. Two is the number or the character that I'm going to superscript. So I'll press T for the type tool. And what you'll want to do is just highlight whatever you want to superscript. So I'm going to highlight that too. And then I'm going to come over here to my character panel over here in your big properties panel. And we need to see all the options. So we're going to click on these three dots right here. Now, once this little panel pulls up, we can actually see in the middle here, we have some options and one of those is superscript. So we click that and it's like a one button press superscript. There are some edits you can make to this. We can adjust the left and right position, the up and down position and the size. So we clicked superscript and that gave us a good starting point and maybe it's good enough for you. If it's not, let's start with the font size. We can still adjust the font size. I'm holding shift to go up and down by larger increments. And so we can adjust that font size to make it smaller if we want. But you'll see there's some uh, negative effects that happen, like now the two's sort of down lower in the middle here. So what we would want to do is adjust the baseline shift after that. That's the up and down position. And that's this guy right here. So you can kind of see that icon and then we can go up and down. Now, if it's not going up and down quick enough, you can hold shift or just type in numbers here. But we can bring this back up if we want. But what if I feel like it's too far away from the A? Well, what we can do now is go back to that type tool. Instead of highlighting the two, we click between the A and the two. So we get that little flashing icon between the two. Now we come over here to kerning in our character panel. And so what we can do with kerning is probably hold shift again and click the up and down arrow keys to adjust the left and right position. So there we go. We have font size, baseline shift, and kerning between these two letters to make those extra adjustments if clicking the superscript button isn't putting that two in the right spot or right size for your font or your document. And that's how you can superscript here in Adobe Illustrator.